And then also just one more thing. Sorry, a few things before we go into the debt. You, you sent on your thing coming in that you're like addicted to pugs. Uh-huh. What does this possibly mean? We had no idea. We tried to search it up and see if that was slang for anything, and we struggled. What is addicted to pugs? Drugs. Hugs, not pugs. Pugs, not drugs. We that are hilarious. dumb. I could have asked. We are <laughs> dumb. Well, yeah. What are you addicted to, my dude? Um, It's one of those. So as silly as it is, like really scary in terms of like thinking about life like not using sure like, that really like freaks me out which is surprising because have you used that as either a cope or like when anxious it just helps like um i've used it 24 7 so wow for everything um i don't like that you drove here then like that yeah to be completely honest well. um but um no, I, the, as far as something like that in someone's own time, you know, as long as it doesn't negatively impact their life, like, well, I'm like, how it I'm like be. a live and let live, but driving, I don't like that. Uh, Doing it day to days. Like I will say there have been yeah. things in life that I have found that you, that I can't um, be inebriated for in, in terms of like, I was a cheerleader. If I was doing cheerleading, like absolutely not. It's one of those like that is not even a thing that I could think about. May I ask how what method you consume? Okay. Yeah, I'm so sorry. But I, not like vapor. Oh well, yeah, like. Oh okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Because well, in general, I really don't like things going into lungs that aren't mm -hmm. air. <laughs> air is kind of like. Is it air quality is the number one thing that knocks. Uh, people's health people's lives down really yeah. yeah so it's just like we don't know the long-term ramifications of the vapor type stuff that come from you know or whatever and i've i've never done that once either i'm boring or i'm too nervous or it's just not for me i don't know but i haven't um coming from the musician side playing the trombone the trombone that's on the floor right there mm -hmm. you know to, lung health is always very important so i you know i never did that um a few times in late high school, early college made me anxious, so I never yeah. really did again. But either way, regardless of the situations that you're doing it through long term health and stuff, we just there's just no not a lot of good medical science behind just the newer vaping and stuff like that and yeah. how that's consumed. And of course, if you feel dependent on anything, regardless of what it is, anything can be an addiction. Mm -hmm. You know, just like and it's maybe it's the habit that's the addiction. The going pie charts can be an addiction. Like I feel like I can't operate on my day unless I make a pie chart. Mm -hmm. You know, anything can be an addiction. Uh, and the fact that you're in that situation, that's obviously very hard. And I bet that's also quite expensive. Um, I have found a way to make it a lot cheaper Go than on. what I have seen in the past. Maybe um, no. <laughs> it's one of those i mean i used to spend like two to three hundred dollars like a week and then now it's down to 80 it's and it's you know a week yeah how? how you don't have to give us specifics but just in general you how? know new science technologies that type of stuff um newer stuff is better so you <laughs> less of it so more concentrated yeah, you know. sources interesting that is far and beyond but it's like because i'm not interested in that thing so i don't know <laughs> yeah and then it's one of those that's like there's that one which is like the one that concerns me the most but then i do have a recreational um hobby that is becoming um, a problem to tell it's one of those so yeah it's one of that's a lot of fun okay and we've bleeped we've bleeped the specific substance but i was not expecting that my dude yeah. okay so how com how how common is that um, I mean, that one's about a hundred dollars a week. Oh, so this is an ongoing thing. Yeah. That one's more recent. Are you on this right now? No. Well, uh, depending on how right now, it's one of those probably. When was the last time it was consumed? Like 18 hours. Okay. How often do you consume this? I mean, daily. Okay. So that, that's not happy. That's, that's not a, uh, we're going to yeah. have a party situation. This is a, we're doing this. Every day is a party. But no, yeah, it's one of those. It's definitely a we're doing this. And, um, you know, steps are being taken to not. What are those steps? Um, my flight to California. Okay. Yeah. What, what's in California? Um, I don't even know the name of the spot, which is insane rehab, about it. Though? Yeah, it's a rehab. Good. It's one of those. Uh, good guy. Good lad. Yeah. I 
kind of got, I don't want to say coaxed into the situation, but it's one of those, uh, my girlfriend, she, uh, had some stuff happen and, uh, it's one of those, I am not a big confrontation person like at all in general. And so it's one of those, and I feel like I should be able to provide and whatever you want, I want to be able to give that to you. Um, but like my thing right now is like, I really want to just focus on building like the foundation, a base. And if we did choose to, you know, use, you know, or, um, a drink like at recreationally like on the weekends to have like a decent time think every now can, and again though i think a lot that of times when people are very addicted you know that one thing can head down a spiral of again the daily usage and that other one you mentioned is it's rough yeah that's a scary one yeah if it, not like the most scary but that's also with that one in particular I feel very easy about like just not doing that one. That one I don't have. Like, why the, haven't you just stopped using them? Because why not? Just well, the pushback on your logic. It's one of those. So this person doesn't want their name mentioned. Um, yes, Ooh. my roommate. Okay. Um, he he likes to partake every now and again. I think you might and need to so, get out of that living situation. Yeah, that's, I left yesterday. Oh, good lad. Yeah. Okay. Do you live with your girlfriend? No, it's one of those. She stays in a sober living house. And, wow uh, okay the curse you so blah, 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 blah. yeah Which there's a lot sense. more than what was written have this you is, considered living a sober living house um i wouldn't don't think that i would want to okay. as long as i have cats and uh, i mean i agree to take care of them and i do want to be a man of my word and be like the responsibilities that i say that i'm going to do i want to be responsible for i those. respect that but i want you to live man people that head down the path with the one you mentioned mm-hmm. it's that's a dangerous path you know whatever we can we we, i mean uh, yes and we talked about your addiction surrounding that and i don't want to make light of that but this other one that actually scares me i felt a wave of anxiety hit over me just even thinking about that and just being scared for you like we're here to do a financial audit we haven't talked about finances we're 20 minutes in that's because that is it's one of those i came for therapy i'm not here for finances well i am i'm not (laughs) licensed for therapy but i'm happy to talk and give my uh, you know, my own opinion just based on what I've been through. But, you know, I've been through opinions of either a family member or friends who've been addicted to certain things, nothing related to that substance at all. And I mean, the all I can provide when it comes to that is, dude, get help. Get you help. You need professional help when it comes to that. And if that, if that facility that you're going to, I'm so glad beyond glad that you're taking the step to do that that's incredible that's brave that is something you should be so proud of and i am beyond proud of you for doing that that is like top level the for that substance you talked about i know for something for something more opiate like usually which this is not uh the success rate's one percent i do not know the success rate for this one um, and you're on a daily consumption, which is not great in terms of just stopping. So uh, I, I don't know where my mind was going with that. I'm just, what, what's your, what's your overall plan? Where, where have you put yourself mentally when it comes to this and checking into this facility and checking into this facility? Um, so a big driver behind why I checked into the facility was it was one of those, uh, So it was like my girlfriend had just gotten out of the 30 day thing and um, then she got accepted to the sober living and she was planning on having a lot of, you know, she was putting together like life plans and like wanting to build a structured life, you know, and being able to live. And I mean, you become like the five most people you hang out around. It's like those qualities are going to be your qualities, who you hang around with is who you're going to become. And so she had to get a new sponsor for her 12 steps program that she was working and uh, because the current sponsor that she has is the person who is running the sober living that they're staying at. And so she went to a new person to try to ask them and they kind of like talked a little bit. And one of the main things that I guess was discussed was, um, you know, you can't hang around with a boyfriend that does drugs. Of Which any kind. I would suggest to her. Yeah. Yes. It's one of those and it completely makes sense. But um, once again, like if I'm going to be, responsible for something like get into a commitment then like i want to give 100 percent towards that commitment and so uh it was one of those like i like that okay i like that but you're doing this for someone else what about yourself i you see and that's the thing is 
I have been wanting to get on a schedule with substance use for what does that mean? It's one of those like on the weekends, you know, Buddy, whenever I, you're doing stuff, but it never happens like that. You always break schedule exactly. and I can't enforce a method of restriction, you know, like the disciplinary action that I would give to myself for breaking that schedule. I can't do that by myself. And so I think it is putting myself in that situation, but I f- I feel that if I have, you know, that strong support system that I am working with to get through this. Um, Whatever we can do to help, of course, after this episode, please just let us know and everything like that. That's so hard. Ah, oh, man. Okay. 